Yeah, Paul, I mean, that must have been really hard to take last week for you and the players. Yeah, we don't we don't like losing at home to anyone. Um, yeah, the lads were bitterly disappointed with the result. Um, but hopefully we've put that to bed in training this week. We've trained really well, um, especially on our defence. It's very un uncharacteristic for us to defend like that. You know, we've got one of the, the tightest defence in the, in, the, in the league, conceding like the least amount of tries. So hopefully that was just a blip. Um, and this week we have to have a fantastic defence because we know that Exeter look after the ball really well. So uh, that's going to be a, a big focus for us this week. We messed it up on the field and we now had to pick each other up. We we're a very positive side. Hey, one loss doesn't make us a bad team. We're, you know, we're a very good team. We've got some very good individuals. And when we play together, it, you know, and it works like at Bath away, it was only a couple of weeks ago. That's what the performance we need. Uh, go down there, control the game for 80 minutes when you're playing away from home keep the error count down, the penalties down, and you'll get the result. And that's what we're looking to do this weekend. The attitude from the lads this week has been brilliant. And uh, we've stepped up our contact a lot more in training and and, and that showed. And the, and the lads are buzzing now. We're ready to put it right on Sunday now. Exeter, because ultimately, ultimately it's, a, it's a cup final for both teams. Yeah. You had a big contact. It seems like a bit of frustration out. Didn't it? Yeah, you know, <laughs> forwards, you know, they're, they're always the same every week. They like to pile into each other. And... Um, yeah, it was good. Get some good shots in this week. Get rid of a bit of frustration, and the, and the lads are all, you know, simmering at the way at the moment. Yeah, I mean, in a way, you can use what happened last week as, as motivation, perhaps, for this week to put things right. Yeah, it, was a, it was a kick at the backside. Um, sometimes we've gone into playoffs and big games and, and come off a little bit short. Where that, we've had the kick at the backside, maybe two games early now, and this can be our motivation how to kick on and, and finish the season well. A lot of lads are leaving this year, and they don't want to they don't want to leave without winning. I know that. I, I want to win something with this team. Extra though, you've looked at them, what do you make of them? They've been a, a surprise team in the season. Very organised team, look after the ball very well. Um, got a great spirit, no real out and out flashy stars, but they work hard for each other. And that's what, something we've got to match them with uh, all through the game. Um, physicality, like I said, will come into it, they carry hard. We've just got to be a, match them up front and then take our opportunities. When you're away from home, you know, got to be squeaky clean. You may you know, might not get the bounce of the ball, the call of the ref normally goes to the home side. So as long as we're, we play the play with the ball in the right areas of the field, don't give away too many penalties. Should be a very good game, hopefully get the result that we want. After the hurt of last week, losing an East Midlands derby and all that, you've really got to win to keep your playoff hopes alive. I mean, Saints fans have started to worry, I've seen messages on message boards and stuff like that. What, is there, what do you say to them to ease their worries? It's one game. One game doesn't make us a bad team. Um, yes, it was an East Midland derby and it does hurt, but the great thing about rugby is we only have to wait seven days to put it right. And you know, hopefully we put it right on Sunday and we put ourselves right back in contention. You know, nothing changes. Our mindset for Leicester was win every game to the end of the season. That hasn't changed. We have to win every game now and that's what we wanted to do anyway. So we got a kick up the backside last weekend and now we go all flat out now to the end of the season.